All right, so yesterday, me and Alan went to the local river. We just found a good spot. We spent all day looking for spots. We really didn't fish much, but two hours, right? Maybe two hours? Yeah, about two hours. And then, uh, so now we're going back today to spend a little more time at that one spot and we'll see you there. This chunk rock right here, kind of eddies. Um, these are typically deep holes. The chunk rocks are typically what these fish like. Oh yeah, there's nice giant slabs of concrete down here. I look at this is nine right here, and I'm just seeing they're just marking all kinds of bait. Yeah, there's a there's a deep sauce sauce poop juice. I think this is gonna be holding. Oh yeah, big fish, buddy. We're on we're on them. We finally found a hole. We finally found the hole. 13 and a half. This is the hole. Right. Like this this is the one that we've been looking for. Like we're gonna toss our gulp in here every cast and get ignorant. All those little tiny dots are like bait fish and then you came into the pile of them right here. So like yeah, I don't know if we're gonna scare them sitting right above them, but we're gonna end up, let's, let's fish them from the kayak right here since we're sitting steady, but let's pull up on that bank here in a sec. Yeah, there was a fat pile of fish there. Like, underwater footage would be galore. 12 and a half feet. Yeah, dude, this right here is the spot. Oh, that's not cleaning this different. Yeah, like taking it apart and cleaning the whole situation. I've done it with my reels many times. I do it every year, usually. Yeah. My reels this year, though, seem like they're crustier than they have in the past. I've been, I've put them through hell and back. So I thought this was 13 foot, Alan? 15 and a half. Oh, more fish. 16. Even more fish. <laughs> I just literally yanked him up off the bottom. You saw that? Good God, buddy. He was, he was in there chasing my... Yeah, I know. He was in there chasing... Hopefully this isn't just loaded with white bass. Better give me some walleye, buddy. I didn't catch one smallie last time. I just caught a bunch of walleyes. What do you do with your files normally? Do you save them onto your computer? Like af after the video's made? Oh my goodness. Yeah. No. Oh, you're real <laughs> and no, it's the eyes. It's the line running through the eyes. I'm like, oh, I hear that. Oh my God. Yeah, we gotta do a real. So we got white bass trying to get on the walleye. That's a walleye, dude. That's a big sauger. He got off. No. That's a walleye, dude. That's a big sauger. There's another one. All right, so the one that I had get off, this is still a keeper, like a 14 incher, but the one that got off was, oh, a, was, a, was a good tank, dude. Yeah, it was a good tank. Now I'm gonna get bit by this sauger, sauger while I'm trying to, nice. So yeah, his freaking grandpa just got off. I think it was his daddy. Yeah, it was his, it was his grandfather, like, unreal. Here, watch him go down. <laughs> you can still see him.
That would have been hilarious. Dude, you would have not gotten it on video either. Oh yeah, I would have. Oh, you were looking at me? Oh yeah. Dude, dude, dude. What the heck is that? First Smalley of the day. And they were not cooperating for me on Thursday. That's a cool looking one. He's been caught before, I think. Most of it is. Some of it is, but it's it's the copyright that it won't mute your video. Because there's there's a different type of copyright where they'll straight up mute your whole video. Yeah. But it's all <gasps> See there's a buffalo carp just ate the gold minnow. Oh my goodness, that's insane. You were just asking me. He was asking me if these carp would eat because he saw some swimming. I was like, yeah, I've caught I've caught some carp on the gulp minnow. Sure enough. And he ate. I mean, look. It's like one of those quill back suckers or whatever. It's not a buffalo, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a buffalo, it's a quillback sucker. You can tell by the, the fin, pretty sure. And, yep, he went and tried to eat that gold minnow. Cool. Thought I had a big old walleye, but you have fun down there. Yeah, this hole's loaded. And we're not even gonna beat the shit out of it. Like, we're gonna end up moving on while there's like all kinds of fish still still eating in here. Buddy, I would gulp minnow it right this instant. I'm gonna tie this GoPro to the rod and drop you guys down. There's some here in the 15, 16. That's exactly where we want. There's just big fish underneath the kayak. There's one big one right there. They're marking the color of the bottom. That means it's really dense. It's a big, it's a big fish.
Alright. Alright. So. Pulling into this zone. Like if we cut up them creek chubs and put it, put them in that catfish infested hole and can't catch a catfish. Like what? Those catfish didn't even look like they were like laying on the bottom dormant. Like they were cruising. Looked like they had stuck in a goat minnow. Yo. No. What is it? Let me keep what is it? it. It's a keeper walleye on the drop shot minnow. Right in that hole that I could have swore the fish might be in. He's probably a 13 incher. This walleye was 13 and a half inches, so not good enough to keep. Alan. Smallmouth bass completely inhaled it. Oh my god. Quit. Quit. He's banging the weight around everywhere. So yeah, we're just gonna let him go. Nice.